So now I'm just switching the drum groove and I'm gonna slow it down. Now the drummer and the bass are gonna get a little bit busier. They're gonna start adding a few little notes. Take it one step further. Let's go into jazz. I'm gonna clean it. Now I'm gonna have an upright bass. I'm gonna do something a little bit jazzier and of course change the time signature a bit. to the quality I'm gonna switch. Here I can just use some very simple ideas and it actually will give me that genre quite well. So let me take that out. Let me add a couple more things. Get a little funky here. A little bit different. Let's slow it down. Let's change the variation. This box is so much fun. I can do things for hours on end. I can create all kinds of variations. I have 12 variations per genre, seven genres. So I've got blues, I've got pop, I've got alt rock, I've got rock and roll, I've got country, I've got R&B, and I've got jazz. So I've got lots of possibilities to actually create great songs, to be able to practice. Think about practicing guitar to actually having a groove. So I can play scales and I can play licks and ideas based on just having a really good track behind me. Remember, I'm not putting in the bass line, I'm not putting in the drum groove, this is creating it just based on my chords. So let me try some other chords. I'm going to clean the memory. Switch over to rock. Okay, so I got a half time by. So I got a half time switch. And all of a sudden it goes, okay, great. It took the halftime switch and now faster. So 
sort of where I intended it to be. Let's vary this. Listen to what the bass and drums are doing. They're doing a whole different variation on it, which I love. I'm going to add some distortion to it. These are the guitar effects that are in trio. that again again the drum pattern starts to change So much fun with this box. Let's slow that down. Halftime switch again. Remember that the effects are all from the trio. Let's clean it up. Let's go to pop. effects. thing about it is that I can continue to keep changing things without actually having to play any more progressions. So that progression can change radically just within what I did there, just from the pedal alone. There's nothing like the trio. It's not computer program. I'm not having to spend any time, you know, working on learning how to do something other than just playing my progression correctly. I just play the progression into the trio and it creates a bass part and a drum part that's very convincing, sounds real. Here's a couple of other things about the trio that is quite good. It's running into my PA because we have a PA jack for it because you want your drums and your bass to actually sound like a bass player and a drummer would sound. So you don't want it running through your guitar amp. But what happens if you're the guitar player that only has a guitar amp? That's all you have to use with this. Well, out of the jack, where the black cable is, that jack is going into the amplifier. Well, if you run it directly into your amplifier, it's gonna re-amp the sound. It's done specifically so that your bass and your drums will still sound good coming out of a guitar amplifier. That's quite powerful. 
if you don't have a nice PA, then you can still run it through the guitar and still sound good. So that's quite a good feature to have inside the particular box. If you notice that when I slowed it down, the pitch of the drums and the pitch of the bass remained consistent. It didn't start warbling out. It didn't start, when you slow things down on a, on a DAW typically, yeah, you're gonna have some problems with the way the drums are not gonna sound natural. But everything sounds great no matter what when you're speeding things up or slowing it down. It's an, a completely an amazing tool. There's nothing that I've ever come across that's like the Digitech Trio. It's going to come out in March. It's going to be available in March. And in America, it's going to uh, retail for $179. So that's incredible. I mean, it's unbelievably inexpensive. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It's the Digitech Trio. We'll have demos going out throughout the day. Cheers. Does the foot switch come with it as well? Uh, no, the FS, uh, the FX3, the FS3X is a, a separate foot switch. It's about, I think it's retails for forty-nine dollars, but it's a, it's used to help create more functions. I can do all the variations with it. I can do this, the arming of it and the stopping of it, and I can also change the parts. You can do a lot of that on a pedal, but it requires a little bit more foot tapping. Having this just to be able to separate which one is going to be which so, is yeah, a lot easier. So for me, when I'm doing a live show or, with it or a live demonstration, I always like to have a little foot pedal. I, I suppose I can spend all the time doing it right from the pedal itself, but I, I certainly appreciate having the extra control. How much does the additional foot switch cost? Uh, it's about, I think it retails for either $45 or $49. Cool. So, and that's been selling for a while. We use that with a variety of different, uh, yep. you can use it with the, with the looper, you can use that foot switch with a lot of things. Yeah, that, that I, foot switch comes with some sort of special cable? Is that it does, it comes yeah. with a stereo cable. It has to be used and it, right. it, and it actually sells with the cable. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>